Historically, my black bear luck has been some of the worst imaginable, but that all changed when we got our first great one black bear. If I was just sitting- Oh! 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 That's a great one, Jack! Yes! Oh! Oh my gosh! Yes! Oh! 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 Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh! That's his track! Yes! He's down. He's down! Let's go, guys. The Great One Bear. Oh my gosh. Is that max score? Is that max score? Also, there's no Great One music. I guess bears don't give it. Oh my gosh. Is that max score? It is? Yes! No way! Oh, it's not quite max weight, but it got real close to max weight. This 8,314 kill grind pushed me to my limits and made me despise bears until that moment we finally picked up his track. Having finally sealed the deal on a great one black bear, we contemplated going back for another. This decision was finally made when everyone pointed out that I absolutely had to go back and finish the multi mount. So the grind for number two started and was going pretty normal for the majority of the grind. Till one day, this happened. Zeban, thank you for the 13 months, dude. That is insane. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Two level fours, bro. And a five, bro. And a three, bro. Killing me, man. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try something wacky, okay? I'm gonna try something wacky. We're gonna leave those fours and that three. And uh, if we get another four or three to spawn in these zones, we're going to leave it. And then we're just going to farm one bear and see how it works. <laughs> I'm willing to try anything to see if we can get a great one. We're just going to farm one or two bears, I think, and just see if it works. I don't think it's going to end well, but I'm willing to give it a try. A few moments later. A four. <laughs> no freaking way. We got a four there. We got a four there now. Oh my gosh. Bro, we're literally turning all of them into fours and below. Hey, there we go. Level six right there. Four, five, four, three. So we need to shoot this five. I don't know how long we'll be farming just one bear. I just kind of want to see if it's possible and if we can get nines faster doing it this way with how how many fours and stuff we're leaving now. Our five came back as a five. At least it's coming back at the same zone. Level six. Perfect. Man, this is uh this is a lot different grinding just one bear. It's really interesting. I'm curious how long we'll be able to do this before it just uh doesn't work well, I guess until it uh gets to a point where it's not really showing any results. That's our four. It's a five. I've noticed this guy always comes back as a five or a six. That's actually kind of crazy. He always comes back as a five or a six. That's actually wild. I wonder if he'll always come back as a five or a six or if we can get him to come back as a seven as well. I'd like to get him to come back as some diamonds. That'd be lovely. Or even some great ones, you know. I'd love that as well. But he's literally been a five or a six, like five runs in a row. Like I would expect with there being so many fours and below on the map that this guy would be popping up as like an eight and a seven and a nine very often. But it's just been five and six. What are we trying this new? I'm just shooting one bear repeatedly. Um, on one of the runs, we got a bunch of level fours and one level three to show up at our main zones. So I decided to do a little experiment and we're just 
We're just repeatedly uh, farming the same bear respawn. How do you tell it's the same bear? Because it wasn't there before that I shot that one. And I've only got five bears that rotate between these two lakes. And I've left four of them alive. So there's only one left. And it's the one that I'm shooting repeatedly. Ah, just repetition, Blonde Bunny. I've got over 6,000 hours in the game at this point, And easily 4,000 of those have been grinding. I just, uh, oh. Oh! Ah! Yes! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Holy crap! Oh my gosh! Oh, it's a guaranteed super rare! Oh my gosh! Yes! 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 Finally! Oh my gosh! I've killed over 9,000 bears and never got a super rare. That's a super rare right there. It's a guaranteed super rare as well. Oh my gosh, no way! Oh my gosh! Holy! Let's freaking go! Which one is that? Is that blonde? I think it's blonde! I think it's blonde! Look at the feet. The feet are darker than the body. That's blonde. It's gotta be blonde, right? That's gotta be blonde. Oh my gosh, no way! <laughs> no freaking way! You are a gorgeous bear, sir. You're a gorgeous bear. Wow. It might be cinnamon, but I think it's a blonde. I do. Wow. I would say that I want to get close and get pictures, but it's nighttime. It's nighttime, so... We're just going to go ahead and shoot it. We're going to get this thing down. Lift your head up fully. I'm not risking it. Come on. We got him. Oh, my... Gosh, man. Oh. <laughs> Holy. At this point, if we don't get another great one, I won't even be mad because we've got a super rare. Let's see. Is this cinnamon or blonde? I think it's cinnamon after taking another look at it. It's cinnamon. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Cinnamon's my favorite. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I can finally say I have a super rare black bear. The chances of getting a super rare black bear is so insane. And you know what's crazy? We were on like a 170 kill dry streak with no level 9s. 170 plus kills with no level 9s. And this is what we get when we finally get another 9. Holy crap, man. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. And the, this is honestly even more rare than any of the other super rares we've got recently because... We don't have bears that HM'd. They're like half herd managed, right? We get a diamond like every 50 kills instead of every 100 kills like you would without herd management or every 30 kills like you would with good herd management. So this is like a 1 in 15,000 chance of it spawning. And here it is. We did it. We finally got a level 9 cinnamon bear. And it actually made it. 2321. It was a guaranteed diamond. With the estimate, I am so blown away. We have been grinding with a grinding method known as herd management. Essentially what herd management is, is just leaving the low levels and only killing the high levels. And eventually you get so many low levels on the map that it gives you more high levels to compensate for the amount of low levels that you have currently. This method has become so like uh, prevalent throughout the grinding community and so insane that even people that were very against it in the beginning and still may be against it have started using it. And that is just the power of herd management. Not only does it increase the amount of diamonds that you get, therefore increasing your chances at a super rare, but it, there's also a pretty good chance that it does increase the spawn of great ones, or at least for some species. It definitely varies from species to species. I've noticed moose and fallow seem to get affected way more than stuff like bears or red deer, but it still goes to show that it's a very effective method. And it's also a developer approved method, despite on how controversial and questionable it was when it was first really discovered. It has been proven and even completely approved by the developers themselves. 
So that is what we're going to talk about next. We're going to jump straight into Silver Ridge Peaks and talk a little bit about what we're going to do for bear herd management and how you want to manage down your map, stuff you can expect, things like that. So let's jump straight into it. And now when you're herd managing black bear, you really want to be leaving all level fours and below. So any uh, fours, threes, twos, or ones, and then shooting anything that is five or above. So this bear right here, we will end up shooting real quickly. And just like that, that bear is going down. And while we're looking at it, since I get asked this question all the time as to uh, how I'm able to make those shots so easily, it's because of the elevation. If you guys didn't know, elevation kind of counteracts some of the bullet drop. Uh, both IRL and in-game. So that's how I'm able to make the long shots without having to compensate too much. And also the zeroing perk helps out quite a bit. The goal with herd management is to get about 70% of your male population of that species down to that wanted level, which for the bears, it's going to be four or below. If you really want to be a madman, you can try and get just three and below, which is uh, going to give you better results in terms of the amount of diamonds you see. But it is going to take a lot longer to get to that point, so that's really up to you if you want to go that route or if you want to go the easier route of doing four and below. Now, in terms of the locations that you can find Black Bear on Silver Ridge Peak, it's really everywhere. You're going to have to check every single lake on this map, aside from three of them that I have not seen any bears at, and that is this little lake here. This lake right here and this lake down here and then obviously these don't really count as lakes So you're not gonna find them there and also you're not gonna find them there So I guess that is four five maybe six lakes if you count these two over here But those are the lakes that you will not see bears at every other place You're gonna have to search including this coastline. So that's a little bit unfortunate But you know it is what it is because every single bear is a solo bear You're gonna notice that every time you kill them they often will swap zones. They'll go to different places where you didn't shoot them. You could shoot a bear right at this zone that we're at currently, and then next run have that same respawn be down here at this lake, or could even be down at this lake. They move around a lot, though they do try to stay in like a general area. Uh, for example, like if you're shooting bears at this lake, it's likely they won't go too much further than this little cluster of lakes up here. And just like with these two lakes, I only get them going back and forth between these two, which is why I grind these two lakes primarily. I've got five respawns between them, and I just keep cycling through all of those, and they always bounce between these zones. Now, there's multiple factors that could influence that. It could be that the other lakes in the area have too many bears at them already, or it could just be that those are the areas that those bears respawn at. Now I know that we used uh, this level four earlier as an example of something to leave, but there's one thing that I did forget to mention. If a level four shows up in an area that you want to be grinding, then you do continue shooting it. We are going to shoot this because I've already managed down the map as far as I want it. Once you've managed down the map to that 70% or better that you're comfortable with, then from that point on, just shoot any of the respawns that come back that aren't one of the ones that you were stacking on the map. I know it probably can sound a little confusing, but once you get to that point, I just hit the tripod. I just hit the tripod. That was a one in a million chance of that happening, but that, that is hilarious. Anyway, as I was saying, once you've got the amount of fours and below that you need on the map, from then on, just shoot everything because those remaining ones you want to be cycling through as uh, efficiently and fast as possible. And so obviously if any new fours show up, then you want to take them down. Another pretty useful thing I don't see a lot of people talking about is the fact that for the Great One Black Bear grind, you actually can shoot females and have it be beneficial to your grind. And the reason that it's beneficial to the grind is because you can actually get the males and females to swap locations. So let's say you got some female bears in a really good zone, like a really open lake that's really easy to hunt and you would rather have males there. What you can do is shoot those females and males until those females go somewhere else. Those females will be filling up a slot in a different lake so that the males can't go there, and so it's more likely the males will go to the better lakes. It's a very useful strategy, and it's how I was able to get this lake to be all males and be as efficient as it is. I've got all the females that used to be between these two lakes at the surrounding lakes, so it's made it so these lakes are a lot better. You can't get a great one from shooting a female bear, but you definitely can kind of manipulate around uh, where your males are going to respawn by moving those females into the bad zones. So it is very, very useful to do so. 
Now that we are done with our brief guide on how I grind for the Black Bear Great One and how to do herd management with the Black Bear, let's take a stroll through our Great One Lodge as we head over to find ourselves that beautiful multi-mount of a Great One and super rare Black Bear. I still can't believe we finally completed this. Most of the people that I know that do a lot of bear grinding don't even have a single super rare bear, so the fact that we got one is... It's just insane. I cannot believe that we managed to finally accomplish it. And it's my favorite fur type as well, so that's a win-win in my book. This is just a dream Black Bear trophy. Even more of a dream than the Great One, even. Though, you know, it can be hard to choose at times. They're both incredibly rare and difficult to find. I mean, I'd say this Great One Bear is definitely the, one of the rarest Great One Bears you could get. I mean, it's a max scoring fabled cream. But a super rare bear is much more rare to get. But the question is, is it more rare than max score great one? Let me know in the comments what you think. It's definitely more rare than a great one bear, but is it more rare than a max score great one bear? But that is going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this. This is one of the greatest trophies I've ever been able to get. And I am just so happy that we managed to find it. And all after a really weird change of events where we started hunting just one bear respawn repeatedly instead of the five I normally cycled through. It was just a very weird and cool encounter. So thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to leave a like down below as well as commenting and letting me know that you enjoy it. And also, if you haven't already and you're enjoying the content here on the channel, consider subscribing as it does help out a ton. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.